Uh, welcome to new unboxing and quick testing. Well, today will be the new Church 6 model. This is, is the uh, CX32, which is nothing else than the quadcopter version of the uh, their hexacopter in uh, Y6 design. So uh, it's taking the same uh, successful ingredient, so the same uh, 5.8 GHz FPV solution and the same uh, altitude hold uh, features, uh, working well and great and uh, very adapted to for beginners to practicing uh, FPV. So what you will find in this uh, uh, 32 uh, Falcon, okay, it comes in black or uh, white edition. So what you will find here is the, uh, the contents, okay. So basically uh, you will find this quad capture itself. So uh, taking the UFO design, uh, it's a little bit heavy comparatively to this uh, uh, 33 uh, counterpart. So out of the box, it's scaled with the uh, LiPo battery close to 156 grams, so which is pretty light because you have only four motors instead of six for the 33. Okay, uh, but you will find on the bottom part uh, the uh, small power switch. That's always a very good point. And uh, two camera ports. One I will say is dedicated to the Wi-Fi version, while the FPV and pure camera version uses four pines one. So you have to press here to access to the uh, battery uh, compartment, and you will find inside uh, a 2S LiPo battery ending with a micro LED connector, announced to be a uh, 440. Uh, milliamps per hour, no discharge rate, but you have a balancer plug, okay, and uh, ending with a micro LED connector, you have to plug here, uh, and uh, the balancer plug, you can install it in this small part, in this small hole, to unlock very easily your your uh, doors, okay, after just push like this, and it's locked. Um, you have some nice LEDs on this quad capture, three blue on front, and the red line is more for uh, indicate the statue if it's bound, uh, bound or not. Um, you can also notice from an external point of view the motor installed in parallel of the arms. It means that the uh, junction between the main wheel and the motor are done perpendicularly, so with an angle of 90 degrees. I don't know if it's more efficient than the inverted. 180 degrees position of motor, I don't know. So anyway, but on this model you can find the same prop that the 33. Uh, well, they offer a high pitch value, as you can see the angle are, uh, is strong, but uh, the plastic is very thin and especially on the extremity, uh, they will be damaged very fast and uh, it comes only with two uh, spare props, which is in my point of view, uh, to a uh, limited number because you will damage uh, your props, uh, uh, I would say not very fast, but um, uh, as soon as you will eat some grass or some ground, they will be damaged on the extremities. The, the plastic is very thin, uh, okay. Um, the landing gear is okay. Um, well, uh, so a total weight of 156 grams, which is a little bit uh, uh, AV, but the motor are 8.5 mm by 20 mm, so they are uh, the coreless, uh, the, the most uh, bigger size in coreless type of motors. Uh, inside uh, the flying controlling board, you will find a voltage regulator, so delivering 5 volts. So I think the motor are, um, receive a 5 volt instead of uh, 7.4 volt uh, directly from the. Uh, to S LiPo, so it's good. It means that the the uh, durability of motors is not really a, a big question, a big open question. Um, okay, uh, what also you receive uh, some four prop guards. Okay, uh, efficient to protect your quad adapter. Two spare props I already said. A screw, two screwdriver, and this uh, USB charging cable. Uh, ending with this uh, GST connector for the balancer plug. Okay. And uh, the uh, radio, so this is exactly the same radio type that the Chosen 33, but in black edition. So no LCD display, okay, and just basic button. So you can switch from mod 2 or mod 1 if you fly. And you can notice immediately that both sticks now are auto uh, centered in the middle. It's due to the altitude hold uh, features. 
and uh, well I remind this uh, function is very dedicated to beginners because more or less they have only to uh, take into account the uh, right stick to uh, move their quadcopter as soon as you are releasing the left stick the uh, quadcopter or exacopter will stay in place in the air and the same altitude so this um, uh, features use an internal uh, barometer to uh, uh, compute uh, the altitude your current altitude and try to stabilize the uh, flying machine at this uh, one. So what you will find as button, no shoulder button, so no, for example, spin mode or flip mode here. In fact, you don't have any spin mode in this quad capture. That's, uh, for me, a drawback. And no flips, okay, uh, why not? But uh, here you can find this button is used to change the frequency of your video transmitter. So if you plan to fly with several charts in 32 or 33, you will have to change your uh, uh, video 5.8 gigahertz frequencies in order to uh, have your own. Uh, each, uh, so you have to first press this button to change this uh, uh, video frequency of the transmitter and after to change here on the receiver to match uh, the corresponding one. This button is used to take a picture if you briefly press on it or if you long press on it to start or to stop recording. These two buttons are used to uh, do the automatic takeoff for this one and automatic landing. So it's, uh, the automatic takeoff is working very efficiently. As soon as you will press it, it will uh, take off and stabilize around one meter high. Okay, for AA batteries for the radio and for AAA for the LCD monitors. Okay, concerning the LCD monitors, it's a 5.3 uh, inch. Okay, the 5.3 8 gigahertz um, antenna is an F plane one, uh, internal one, directly soldered on the video receiver. Uh, it means that this antenna will favorize the reception of more uh, vertical uh, uh, signal coming from the upper part of the sky. So it means when you are in higher altitude, the reception will be good, but in other hand, if you are more far in uh, horizontal distance, uh, it will be uh, not so efficient. So if you plan to fly this quadcopter more in more low riding uh, flight, uh, I strongly advise to mode your antenna positioning, okay, to, and maybe why not to install a small PSMA or SMA connector to install a clover leaf antenna, it should be, uh, or in our one, it should be more adapted. Um, uh, you will see that this uh, FPV monitor comes with a blue screen, it means that as soon as you will lose your uh, FPV signal, the uh, monitor will turn to black, okay? So it's not a very good uh, feature for uh, practicing FPV. It's good one uh, when you are losing the signal, you have a, a gently transition to the white no, uh, and not a brutal change to this black or blue screen. So definitively uh, a better firmware installed on the video receiver uh, uh, processor will, will have been a better option. Um, well, so I, will, I can show you the uh, FPV signal. So the brightness have been proved. Okay, the brightness, so you can see your FPV monitor uh, out of the box, okay, in more or less sunny condition. The field of view of the FPV camera is quite narrow. You have something like 70 degrees, so it's not enough to really practice FPV uh, in a safe condition uh, in a low uh, riding one, so with uh, cloth to trees or obstacle. So it's good only to fly in a real open space with uh, a lot of altitude. So, uh, okay, for beginners it, it would be okay, but if you start to be more advanced, it would be limited and you will need to install a uh, a wider uh, 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 lens with a wider field of view and uh, since it's in M6 format there is no real actually um, available uh, lens of this size and uh, unfortunately the uh, lens sensor is directly uh, soldered on the video PCB so you cannot do any more use the, uh, uh, the trick of the 808 DS16 lens uh, sensor combo. Uh, you cannot replace with this one. It's not working anymore. Um, the, the video signal is strong out of the box, 
but due to this antenna location, you cannot really expect more than 30 meters at very low altitude. Uh, okay, so when you start to be more than 50 meters high, you can expect 50, 60 meters of video range without problem. Uh, due to the antenna positioning first, and secondly, the sensitivity of the receiver is not fantastic. Uh, but if you have a better video receiver, 500 gigahertz one, you will see that you will have receive uh, the signal more than 100 meters without any problem. Concerning the video protocol, um, it's using uh, uh, the uh, Chosen Things 10, uh, the Blue A Edition, so called. Uh, so you can fly it with this uh, such old radio, but you don't have this uh, button implemented. And um, well, uh, in Deviation TX you can fly it, but um, also do not uh, not able to start recording or to use a takeoff or auto landing of a button. I think it will be implemented soon in Deviation TX. Okay, so you will be able to enjoy fully your uh, this quadcopter. So, uh, concerning the flying characteristics, uh, they are pretty, pretty good. It's amazing how efficient is uh, the stabilization in the altitude. So, it's working very well. And for beginners, if it's a lot of stress um, to be removed, okay, because you just need to be concentrated to move your right stick on the altitude, you don't really don't care. As soon as you're releasing the, the, the left stick, this quadcopter will stabilize and stay in place in the air at the same location, that's a good. So, well, to practice FPV, it's good because you have less concentrate to control, to handle your, your throttle management, okay? Um, oh, uh, so, the radio link is uh, good. You can expect something like 80 meters without any problem, but you will be limited first by the video link in a low altitude uh, will disappear and you will have a, a hard a brutal transition to the uh, black screen uh, just as I said previously. Okay, so I will conclude and, um, about this Churchill 32 uh, S edition. Uh, it's a very nice flyer uh, out of the box. The frame characteristics are nice, very stabilizes. They, they choose the unique uh, speed mode uh, rates to be very stable um, in, in terms of flying characteristics. So adapted for beginners and as I said, thanks to the altitude hold, is really to practice for the first time uh, FPV. It's uh, the ideal machine. Well, there are a lot of uh, bad points also. The props are, uh, I would say, fragile in my point of view. The field of view of the lens is also limited, okay. Um, what I also uh, I don't really appreciate is the um, um, uh, well the impossibility, for example, to change easily this uh, lens. Okay, uh, and uh, well, uh, but there are a lot of good points. For example, the um, the camera recording because it's filming also at 720p. The quality is very very good uh, for this uh, type of FPV uh, cam combo. So you will be impressed by the quality. The 720p uh, module is really efficient, uh, and it will be improved as soon as you will be able to install a wider. Uh, uh, lens with a wider field of view. Well, so uh, I will end this unboxing and quick analysis. Uh, please check my other video about the Churson 32S. Okay, come also with a pure camera version and with a Wi-Fi device, but the quadcopter remains the same. Uh, the flying duration, I didn't mention it, are good, uh, pretty good. Uh, you can uh, fly more than seven, eight minutes, that's great. And uh, well, really a lot of positive points, uh, really a very stable, uh, adapted for beginners. One unique uh, uh, speed mode, no flips, but uh, the video uh, range is correct. As soon as maybe you will optimize a little bit the antenna positioning and the control range also is good, more than uh, 70, 80 meters out of the box. You can expect more to, uh, as soon as you will, uh, this protocol will be deviated. Okay, I hope you like this video. If you like it, please thumb it. If you like my channel, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.